Hey CrossFit Angus, happy Monday. Today's workout is called Base Camp. It's gonna alternate between one round of Cindy and an increasing double dumbbell power clean and jerk. So on three, two, one, go, you do one round of Cindy, which is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, and then complete one double dumbbell power clean and jerk. From there, you'll complete another round of Cindy and then two double dumbbell power clean and jerks, so on and so forth for the remainder of the 15 minutes. Modifications for today. If you're working with a single dumbbell today, you're going to complete the power clean and jerks on each side. So for example, for the one, you're gonna complete one on the left and then one on the right. For the round of two, you'll complete two power clean and jerks on the left and then two on the right, so on and so forth. If you're using a barbell today, we're gonna to load it with a moderate weight, perhaps 155, 105 might be prescribed in the gym. Something though we can do in one to two sets for each of those reps. If we don't have pull-ups today, we can substitute with five dumbbell rows on each side. Our strategy for today, because we're not gonna really feel this workout until probably the fourth or fifth round, we wanna make sure that we're starting off in a nice consistent pace that we feel we can hold on to for those last remaining five minutes. Try to keep your pull-ups and push-ups to one to two sets, and because we're probably not gonna see double digits for those power clean and jerks, try to hang on to those dumbbells or that barbell for large sets and try to go unbroken there. This is gonna be a good one, guys. Have fun. For today's general warm up, we're going to complete two rounds of the following, starting with 30 seconds of active Samson. Andrew's gonna push his hips forward, getting a good stretch through those hip flexors. Then we'll complete 30 seconds of a hollow hold. So we're going to seat ourselves on the ground. Here we wanna press our belly button and spine into the floor extending our legs and reaching up over top. We'll next complete 30 seconds of an inchworm to push up. So here we're keeping those knees straight, walking those hands out, push up at the bottom, and then again, knees locked out to get a good stretch through those hamstrings. From there, we'll complete 30 seconds of air squats, making sure to initiate with our hips back, chest nice and tall, and getting full depth. We'll then complete 30 seconds of our T chest stretch. So Andrew's going to lay down on his belly, one arm stretched out, the other hand to his side, and pushing away through that palm of your hand, roll over onto that back shoulder. After completing 15 seconds here, turn and complete 15 seconds on the other side. Last but not least, we'll complete 30 seconds of a tabletop stretch. So again, we'll lay on our black, back, feet flat on the floor, and then we're going to raise our hips up to the sky. Again, feeling a good stretch through those shoulders, opening up that chest. One round of Cindy consists of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. If we don't have a pull-up bar or pull-ups, we can complete five dumbbell rows on each side. In all of these movements today, our key focus is going to be those elbows. So for the dumbbell rows, we wanna make sure we're engaging those lats and really keeping those elbows tight to the body. Again, you'll complete five on one side and then switch arms and complete five on the other side. From there, we're gonna move on to our 10 push-ups. And again, the key focus here is to keep those elbows tight to the body, letting them exceed no more than 45 degrees away from the body. This is going to allow us to keep our shoulders in a nice position as we press through the floor, keeping our hips and shoulders in line. Last but not least, we'll complete 15 air squats. And again, your elbows can help guide you with your chest. So as we descend into the bottom of those squats, allow your arms to come out in front. This will help keep your chest up nice and tall. And just like in a front squat, those arms and that chest should come up before those hips. For the double dumbbell power clean and jerk, we're going to set those dumbbells up front head outside the feet. And here again, looking at the elbows, we want them to stay locked out until the hips open, tracking close to the body instead of swinging forward, and then seeing a quick turnover into that front rack position. For the jerk, we wanna punch the elbows hard to get the weight locked out overhead, finishing close to the ear in a nice stacked position. Now, if we're using a single dumbbell today, 
Again, we're going to complete those reps completely on one side and then again on the opposite side. So the dumbbell here will start between the feet. Again, front head needing to touch. Jump that weight to your shoulder. If we were doing the two rep version, Andrew would complete two on his right side, then switch hands, completing then two on the left. Again, if we're using a barbell today, it's going to be the same reps as the double dumbbell power clean and jerk, and we're gonna load it with a moderate weight, perhaps 155, 105, but something we could definitely do unbroken or in no more than two sets.